Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, you look at the Galaxy S10. Emergency calls only bug fix. In other words, if your phone is only making emergency calls because you have lost signal and you are getting no service um, issue, we're going to show you how to fix this problem. All right. So as I said before, the no service issue is when you are getting some very low signal bars. It can happen sometimes for various reasons and it might not be apparent to you why this is happening. So just simply follow these instructions and you should be able to track down and fix the issue where you're getting um, emergency call only as in some cases when the bar falls below and the signal strength is too low from your carrier you do go into emergency call only mode all right so let's go straight into it now the first thing i want you to try guys in order to um, fix this problem is just to simply number one uh you're gonna reseat your sim card so let's go ahead and get your sim ejection tool Simply get your SIM ejection tool, as you can see here, this is mine. And you're going to uh, remove the case. And then, of course, you're going to place the SIM tool in here. Press down. And, of course, this tray is going to come up. You're going to take out the SIM. And, of course, once you take out the SIM, you're going to look at the SIM. Make sure it's not broken. If it's broken, like, for example, it looks um, split. Or, of course, if it lose, looks um, flex or bent. The problem is that if it's bent or flex or torn, it can prevent it from making contact with the internal mechanism. And, of course, this can cause intermittent signals. And of course, that can cause drop signals. So of course, if you check the SIM card and it looks 100%, it's flat and it's making perfect contact, you can simply put it back. However, if it's bent or torn, you can try to flex it back into place. But of course, I recommend that you go to your carrier and have it replaced. They'll be able to return you to your old number. All right, if that doesn't work, guys, next thing you're going to try is just go ahead and you're going to reboot your phone. Rebooting your phone helps the device as sometimes if it's having network problems such as switching between um, two signal towers, especially if you're in a new era, one thing might help is just do a reboot. Once you reboot, the signals should come back up. And of course, that's quite easy. Um, the third thing is to toggle off airplane mode on and off. So simply go ahead and toggle airplane mode on. You'll notice once this happens, it turns off all the radios in your device. Once you turn off all radios in your device, um, let's go ahead again. And turn it back on it will then search and try to find the signal notice mine just search and find the signals again and of course doing this on and off several times might be able to nudge your device into getting back to connect to the network and of course you get full signal or maybe close to full signals um, you might have to try this more than once so let's go ahead and try that a few times to see if you can reconnect by toggling airplane mode on and off and of course if that didn't work guys um, the next thing you can do is uh, disable fixed dialing. Now fix dialing and I'll show you to get to this. Go to the phone dialer and of course once you're here just tap on the option here three dots upper um, right and of course you're gonna go to settings and once you're in here you're gonna go to supplementary services so tap on supplementary services let me just turn up the screen brightness a bit all right. And once you're in supplementary services notice you have fixed dialing. Just go in here and make sure that there are no numbers here of course you may that's the only way to disable the feature so by doing that you will be um, not um, using the fixed dialing feature and of course it should fix the issue in some cases if you're not using the feature at all if it's empty it would mean that that's not a problem so you can always skip over that step next you can manually select your network it's quite easy so just go into um settings once you're in settings you're going to go to connections away at the top up here and once you're in connections just go ahead from connections and next you're going to go down to um, networks or mobile networks once you're in mobile networks you're going to select mobile network operator or network operator and of course you're going to select manually and of course it's going to scan and once it scans you're going to select your carrier manually and of course you're going to try to connect again and of course in some cases you should be able to reconnect to the network and the problem should be fixed next you're going to check your IMEI number you can go online and um, search for IMEI um, number um, check-in services they are free you can also see if your device is blocked um, if you purchase your device secondhand what might have happened is that that device may have been blocked for some reason some of the reasons may include not paying um, the um, bill on your phone or it might have been stolen it might have been stolen so to check the IMEI number simply go to settings and next you're gonna go down to um, about phone all the way down here you will see the IMEI in the first section of the screen at the top and I'm going to show you mine and of course you're going to check the number just write out the entire number online it will scan and find it online it will tell you whether or not you are blacklisted or not you could also carry up your carrier call up your carrier give them the number and ask them if your device is blocked all right 
Next thing you can do guys is you can um, wipe the cache partition. In order to wipe the cache partition, you have a separate tutorial on that. I'll link to it on screen here. Once you do that, you should be able to wipe the cache. And of course, reboot your device and then see if the problem is fixed. The other thing you can do guys is to reset network settings. It's quite simple. So go to settings. Under settings, you're going to go down to um, general management. Reset. And from here, let's go ahead and the option that says reset network settings. Do not worry, it will not delete anything. Other than you might have to reconnect to stuff like Wi-Fi and so on. So that's the other step. And of course, if all else fails, you can try resetting the phone. I advise you backup. I'll only um, attempt this as a last resort. So go to settings again after you backup your device. You're going to go on again down to general management. Once you're in general management, go to reset. And this time it says factory data reset. So you're going to select factory data reset, which will, of course, run you through the process of um, wiping your device. Once you do that, you should be able to return to a clean state where all the software is wiped and restored to factory state. From there, you can see if the problem is fixed with your network connectivity issues. Last but not least, if all else fails, contact your network carrier and of course explain the situation to them and they should be able to take it from there and they should tell you whether or not you're having a specific issue that's caused by them or some other reason. All right guys, we're going to go from block tech tips and I'll set a quick tips showing you how to deal with the um, network or emergency calls only bug on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus and S10. Alright guys, record the same bar until next time. Bye.